Hey guys and um, welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me show you a method to find website RSS feeds. So I will show you a series of methods which will allow you to sh to find hidden feeds for almost any website. So let's get straight into this. So here is TechCrunch. The first and most simple method that I use personally is take the website URL and write slash feed at the end of it and hit enter. And if the feed pops up, then you are lucky. Here it is. This is the feed. Other websites will also have slash RSS. In this case, it redirects to feed. Other website might have rss.xml. In this case, this is not found, but other websites might have this uh, feed structure. Okay, so this is the first method. The second method is to look in the page structure. So if we scroll down here on this example page, for example, scroll up, we see the RSS feed here. And if we click on it, here it is. This is the RSS feed of this website. This is the second method. Now let me show you the third method. The third method is right clicking on the page. So if we right click on the page of this uh, website, then we will see view page source. This is in Chrome. In other browsers might be different, but in Chrome you have here view page source. And in the page source you can hit Ctrl F on your keyword. So Ctrl F to search in the, pa in the page uh, source and hit simply write RSS. And here you might be able to detect some RSS feeds that this website has. So here we'll see RSS feeds and title RSS 2.0, Atom and other RSS feeds. And if we click here, the same RSS feed will be found. So keep in mind, right click, view page source, Control F to search for stuff and write RSS and if content will be highlighted then you might fi have found the RSS feed you are looking for. So this is the third method. Okay, now I want to show you some uh, other websites that might have uh, their feeds and how you can find them. So if the website is hosted on wordpress.com you can write the feed URL like this. This is the website name, wordpress.com slash feed. So this is a feed structure that you can use to get wordpress.com website feeds. If the feed, if the website is hosted on Blogger or Blogspot, you can use this structure, blog name, blogspot.com slash feeds post default. I will link all these in this video description. You can go and check them out there. If your website is hosted on Medium, you can write medium.com slash feed slash the site name. And finally, if your website is hosted on Tumblr, website name dot tumblr.com slash RSS. This will be the uh, addresses, the default addresses where you will find these uh, RSS feeds for these websites. Okay, so yeah, so keep in mind the most simple method is simply writing slash feed at the end and if you are lucky then it will work. Other methods you can check them out. Okay. I will be uh, linking in this video description a plugin that I created that will be able to import content from RSS feeds to your WordPress site. So go check it out in this video description. Also right now I am starting to work on a plugin that will be able to create 
RSS feeds for any website. So if you are not lucky to find a valid RSS feed for a website you wish to import content from, I will create a, a plugin that will be able to generate an RSS feed for any website you point it to. Okay, so thank you for staying until the end of this, this video. I uh, said everything that I wanted to say and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I release new videos each day at 8 p.m. GM, GMT time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye bye.